Good two minutes. We're now moving on to the top compartment, the head. OK, you've got eight meals so far, Robert. You want to go for the last two? It's Come on, co yeah. cockroaches. Yeah, quick. OK, let's go. There is a snake in there as well. He's, he's snuck in there. The time has started. Two minutes for these final two meals. We'll take you up to ten. Remember, it's all about endurance. Put up with this and the cat will be very happy with you. Fifteen seconds. You're doing really well. Thirty seconds gone. This is a nightmare. Keep your mouth shut if I was you. Less than a minute now. <laughs> You're so close, you really are. 30 seconds left. Ten seconds left. <laughs> Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Let's get them out of there. Get That's ten <laughs> meals. Well done. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. You've earned all ten meals. Which that one snake have his shorts. Oh. Hang on, you're trying to smuggle snakes out? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh. Contraband! Oh. Contraband! Hey, you packing heat? <laughs> well... And I thought you no just comments, found it... No comments, no I thought you just found it an exciting trial. That was impressive, well done. Oh, if I'd have seen... They're everywhere! Well anyway. done, well done. Ten meals, you can go back to Camp Hero. Thank you. I'm sure they'll really, really like the news. They won't believe it. Congratulations. Well done, well done man. Thanks, mate. Thanks, That's no yeah. mean feat, so. No, well done. Thank you. Thanks, Robert. Okay. It's good to see you. Thank you, and you. Have a good Don't day. We'll see you we'll again, though. We'll see, you, well, we'll see you in the morning. Okay. Hopefully, with Take some care. better news. Thanks. Bye. Bye. See ya. I felt a snake up my crotch. Slimy. Long. Wet. It wasn't very nice. I was about to, to say stop when the cockroaches came in, because they, they really were horrendous. And the only thing that kept me going was thinking of my wife and uh, children and grandchildren sitting in my house, screaming. I could hear it all. I could see it all clearly. And uh, I think they might be proud. I hope. And uh, sorry. sorry. How'd you get on? No. Sorry. It's always upon somebody to bring back the food just because we're all hungry and rice and beans gets very, very old very quickly. What were you supposed to do? Endurance, two minutes. Oh, oh, and two if minutes. I did, if I did two minutes with each critter, I said the first meal. I got a meal for you, Simon, and a meal for you, Esther. There might be a new meal for you, Brian, and there's a meal for you. I got the two. He's made of stern stuff. Uh, I just met him last night, and I'm getting to see more of his strength all the time. We knew you would do it. We knew you would do it. I think Robert's very relieved to have won the 10 stars. Brilliant. Brilliant win for him, and I know how good it felt when I won, so I'm buzzing for him. But I would be itchy, like, for the next week if I had those things crawling up like yeah. that. I'm sure I'm going to be covered in, in, with uh, spiders when I do my deal. But as long as I can't die from it or it doesn't hurt too bad, if it's mind over matter, I can handle yeah. it. Yeah. I'm sure Wimbledon's a bit harder, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting my feet up. <sighs>He did do well, though. He, he did, did well. Well done, Robert. Well. Ten stars, which meant full bellies all round. Yes. But what about the next trial? Well, it's live, and it's coming up in around an hour's time. Here's what's in store for one unlucky celebrity. Need to get in shape? Then get down to the jungle gym. Where no pain means no gain. And we'll scare you into shape. The Jungle Gym, the workout you'll never forget. Get voting now for the celebrity you'd like to see taking a trip to the Jungle Gym. To vote for Brian, 0901 32 32 or 1. Add 02 for Carly. Danny is 03. It's 04 for Esther. George is 05. Joe's 06. 0901 32 32 07 for Martina. Nicola is 08. 09 for Robert. Simon's 10. David is 11. And Timmy is 12. Course costs 50p from BT Line Lines. Calls from other networks may be higher. Mobiles will be considerably more. Lines close later in the show. Votes cast after that time will not be counted but may still be charged.
Now, they haven't even been in there a week, but already our celebrities are thinking about the first thing they'll do when they leave the camp. And most of them just want to talk to the people who matter most in the world to them. The papers? No, not the papers. Their nearest and dearest. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get out, phone Tom, speak to my baby and go and drive to McDonald's. What, before the bath, yeah? Oh my god, yeah. And oh, then no, I'm going to gossip, gossip with Chrissy, my friend who's coming out. She's very funny. She's much like me. She's got huge, massive, fake boobies. Simon said that you actually want yours bigger. Oh yeah, I'm going to go bigger. To what size though? Yeah, I don't know what size because like these are like a 32G, so I can't really say in size. I've never had a proper, proper look. I've never know? seen boobs bigger than that, don't What is this How size? How much bigger can you go? Oh, they're oh, massive. Yeah, they're How can massive. You get bigger than that? I'm going to wow. go to about there. You're yeah. so naughty. No, I love it. Well, how's, your, <laughs> how's your skin going to fit them in? Seriously, does it just stretch accordingly? Well, now I couldn't. Oh, don't. Oh, oh my God, actually, what's the day? What's the day? Is it Wednesday? Yes. Yeah. What? What the hell? She's it's their birthday. It's their birthday. birthday. She's telling the Bush Telegraph. Oh, Brian's in there. Uh, an older mother. Uh, Is Brian still in there? <laughs> yeah. Can I just tell you something? It's my boobs' first birthday today, and I've just remembered that I'm so excited. I don't understand why you've got bigger boobs. And she wants to lose weight from her beautiful body. I know. I'm so excited. Can we have a little birthday party for my boobs, please? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I'm so excited about my boobs' birthday. OK! Yeah. I personally, I can tickle the weight on my back. That would be agony. It's not every day you get to celebrate someone's breast birthday, do you? So I'm, I'm, I was quite pleased to be here for that. But hold on a minute. Hey guys, should we sing to them? <laughs> We've got to sing happy birthday. I quite like the idea. I think women should start, start having birthdays for their breasts. Do you name them? Have you um, given them a name? Mick Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> you name them for me. Uh, we're going to call that Pinky and Perky. Right. <laughs> happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, ha happy birthday, I, I suppose. I wonder if they gave her the bumps. No, she paid for them herself. <laughs> yeah, he liked it. <laughs> <laughs> now, as Mr. Sulu on Star Trek, George Takei encountered a variety of weird and wonderful species, each with their own bizarre methods of communication. Here in Australia, he's finally come face to face with a creature that's light years beyond even his comprehension. The Cockney. Water. 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 He was on the floor last night. Little bottle. Little bottle. Little bottle. Little bottle. Pass, what, what, what? Pass me that little bottle of water. Pass me that little bottle, little bottle of water. Water. I think George is a little bit fascinated by my accent, so he's kind of he's kind of mimicking what I say. So I'm giving him kind of Cockney words. George, pass me that little bottle of water. That's George. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think. A combination of Nick and Simon and, and Joe are having a terrible effect on George, who is enjoying every second of it. Same mother-in-law? Mother-in-law. Oh, now, now I understand that. So mother when you were talking to me... Mother. I mother. mother. M-U-V-V-E-R. Mother. 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 Mother-in-law. 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 Mother 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 That's what... Mother-in-law is supposed to sound like in Cockney, I suppose. So tr uh, try Porsche. Try the Oxford Jackson. One would like. Yes. One would like. A bottle of water. A bottle of water. How the upper glass greet each other? Do you know this? Go on. Right. The first word is spelt A I R. A I R. Hello. H A I R. Hair. Hair. L A I R. Hair. Right, put them all together. I can't spell. Hair. 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 Hair.